Today, I'm going to be showing you how to download and install the Wicked Whims mod for The Sims 4. The first step is we're going to go to the Wicked Whims mod website. You can go ahead and click the first link in the description or you can go ahead and look it up yourself. This mod is for over 18 because it does have over 18 content ahead. If you are over the age of 18, go ahead and press enter as this is an over 18 mod. I am over the age of 18, so I am going to go ahead and press enter. And then as you see, you get the download and installation page. So now we're going to press this big download button right here you could either download from itch.io or you could download from wicked.tc i'm going to choose to download from wicked.tc which is their wicked whim download page and right here here's another pop-up saying this is 18 plus content ahead and you have to be over the age of 18 to enter the website i am over the age of 18 so i am going to go ahead and press enter and then it takes us to the wicked whims cc page and we're going to scroll down until we see our downloads button as you see this was last updated may 28 2020 2025 we're gonna go ahead and press download we're gonna scroll up a little bit and we're gonna press download file and then as you see it went to our recently downloads folder so we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop it onto our desktop now we're gonna go ahead and open up our file explorer we're gonna click on documents we're gonna click on electronic arts we're gonna click on the sims 4 and then we're gonna click on our mods folder if you do not have a mods folder all you have to do is right click anywhere here click new click folder and label it mods and now we're going to go ahead and open up our mods folder so now we're going to extract our file if you have windows 11 you could just right click and press extract all but if you do not i'm going to go ahead and leave a file extractor extension in the description so now we're going to right click our wicked whim zip file we're going to press extract all we're going to click browse we're going to click documents we're going to click electronic art and we're going to click the sims 4 and then we're going to click our mods folder and then we're going to press select folder and then we're going to press extract okay as you see we got the wicked whims mod right here that says please remove old wicked whims mod if you have any before installing this and then we have the wicked whims info and license text right here this is just an instruction video i'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this so you could just go ahead and delete it and then we have our wicked whims mod right here so we're just going to drag and drop it onto our desktop and as you see we have everything that we need for our wicked whims mod to work so we're just going to drag and drop the wicked whims folder back into our mods folder and now we can go ahead and delete the zip file right here and we also can remove this file that says please remove old wicked whims mod i didn't have any wicked whims installed in my game but if you do you have to remove that before you install the game so i'm going to go ahead and delete that okay once you have your wicked whims mod folder and you have all the files that you want for it now we can go ahead and go into our game i'm not going to be installing anything extra for the wicked whims mod it's just going to be with whatever the mod comes with so i'm going to go ahead and close that out and we're going to go into our game once we load up our game we should be getting this mods pop up right here this is showing everything that we have underneath custom content and script mods when you scroll down to custom content you should see your wicked whims right here and when you scroll underneath script mods you should see your wicked whims here as well once you see that go ahead and press the check mark if for whatever reason you did not get that pop up we're going to go ahead and go to these three dots right here we're going to go to game options we're going to go to other and you want to make sure you have enabled custom content and mods and script mods allow check mark go ahead and press apply changes then you're going to press the x then you're going to exit your game and then you're going to go ahead and relaunch your game as you see when we go into our game as you see when we go into our game we get this pop-up right here saying that we are running the wicked whims mod and then here there's more pop-ups for the wicked whims mod here as well and then here look i could click on my sim and then we have a wicked option to click and go through and as you see we have all these different options options in our wicked option and here we're getting more pop-ups ab about the mod and that there's additional unique traits that you can give to your sim you could go ahead and click here this would give your sim wicked attributes you could go ahead and click it as you see we have the wicked attributes up here there's more above and more on the bottom but they lean more a bit to on the sexual side of this mod so i'm not going to show them but they are there and you could just go ahead and click it it'll give this pop-up saying if you want to add the attribute that you clicked to your sim you can go ahead and press ok and if you don't want to you can go ahead and press cancel as you see this mod did download and install successfully if this video has helped you out please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time